Playwright just keeps finding ways to give you the best testing experience possible. Playwright test was introduced in version 113, but updates monthly. The first big feature I wanted to look at is the ability to start up your web app when you're starting your test. So here they have the web server. We're going to run this npm command in the source folder where our source is at and actually start our web app. We're going to start that on port 3000. So it'll hit localhost 3000. And then it'll also set some default timeouts. So here you can see it's going to start up the web server. It's going to start hitting localhost 3000. And it's going to start running our tests. While this is running, I'm just going to pull up our tests quick. This gives us access to base URL. And if you want to use base URL, you can just use page go to base URL but you could also just use relative paths. So you could just go to slash here instead. So there were two benefits. One, we always get the website deployed fresh with the latest code for the test run. And second, it gave us that base URL feature. The base URL fixture lets you code your test and then lets you set your URL at runtime. You don't have to use this configuration to use the base URL. You can also just set that as an environment variable in your spec. If you have multiple servers, it's easier to change the base URL than it is to hand code that in every test. Playwright's also given us the ability to run tests in debug mode. Rather than messing with environmental configs, we can now use the Playwright inspector just with that switch at the command line. It makes it so much easier to go in and debug your tests and run over the steps one at a time. The next thing that I want to look at in this config is the fact that you can now set video and trace. And there's actually multiple things that you can set this to on off, retain on failure or on first retry. I'm just going to set both of these to on and then rerun the tests. So what happened now was when this test ran, they created this test results folder. This is recreated every time you run your tests. And then each test has its own folder. So inside this folder, you can see that there's a trace zip that we can read with the trace tool and then a recording of the test. And even if you're running it headlessly, you'll still get this recording. If we would just want to open those traces, we can run them with a relative path. And then we get to see that same path with our trace file that we've shown in other places. So when that trace opens up, we can then get to see the full test in the trace viewer just like normal. The next awesome feature I want to talk about is locators. Locators hold the logic that gets an element. Then you can store that locator and then call it at any time to interact with that element. So here they show grabbing that locator and then clicking that element. And here are some other web first expectations that you can use when you have a locator. So you can use that locator once to click on an item or you can check that it is checked. You can check that it's disabled. You can check that it's empty. You can, you can check that it contains text. There's just a whole bunch of things you can do with that locator once you have that. It also makes it easier to use page objects in Playwright. They've also added some experimental selectors for React and View, where if you look here, if you have a React page, you can then look for Submit button, Enable True, which is just cool that they're going out to support these other UI frameworks. And then they also added selectors like Nth and Visible, where you can grab for instance, the 10th match on a page, or you can just check that an element's visible, even though you have to grab a button and then look for a visible button. So this can actually be useful in quite a few cases if you have hidden elements on your page and you don't just want to select the first button, but you just want to select the first one that you can see. If you want to see more of this awesomeness that is Playwright, check out the Playwright Masterclass here on the screen. Click it. It's the best.